Yeah, Carl, you hit it right there. Uh, Fed's uh, Vice Chair Richard Clarida saying he expects conditions for raising interest rates to be met by the year end 2022. And he says policy normalization, he says that in quotes, uh, begins in 2023 or early 2023 once that those conditions have been met. More near term, he says the economy has made progress towards the goals required required for tapering and the committee will assess that progress at future meetings. That's code for at some point this year. They're probably going to tell us they're going to taper, though he said there'd be plenty of advanced warning. The spread of the Delta variant, he says, is a downside risk to his forecast. And most of the inflation overshoot, sticking to the party line here, he says, will prove to be transitory. However, he adds that the risk to his inflation outlook are indeed to the upside. And he sort of makes a, puts a marker out there. He says, Core PCE inflation above 3%, which, by the way, it's already running above 3%, will be more than moderate. But he doesn't go on to say what he would do about it being higher than that. He says that we're still in the recovery phase when it comes to employment, and it's taking longer to fully reopen the economy than to shut it down. On one good note, he does point out that the economy is on track for the most rapid recovery from a recession in 50 years and says, in general, it has surprised to the upside. Real quick, one other number, uh, Carl, from the ISM report, the price is paid index hitting 82, which are above 82, which is the highest since 2005. But the idea of seeing the service sector come back strong like that, that's what you want to see. The employment index inside the services uh, report was also very strong.